This is Halloween. Hi Libra, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles can be reversed in between energies. And with this said, let's move forward. So three of cups, the nine of swords and reverse the three of swords, the ten of pentacles. Sheesh, sheesh. The wheel of fortune, six of swords, four of cups. Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom, we got the Queen of Wands. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Literally, almost all of them. Hmm. Anyways, some of you can be waiting or have been waiting for a reunion to happen. And it seems like it just doesn't seem to come true. Uh, I do see somebody from your past, uh, but, but by the way, coming back into your life or showing up in your life, right? Not necessarily in your life, but like in your space. And I do see that you're going to be very shocked because this person has somebody else, okay? This person has somebody else, but they chose to settle down for that person. They do not love that person. Now, is that good news or bad news? I don't know. You take it the way you think it works best for you. But allegedly here, it seems like they're just settling down for that person because they thought they couldn't find anything else. Um, but they're not in love with that person. And uh, they're going to contact you after they see you in a way to perform. Now, are you going to accept it? That's your business. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords, uh, it's funny because you have worked so hard in a way to perform so funny uh, to move on from this person. And then they come back into your life like that and it, like questions everything you've ever done for your healing. With the Four of Cups right here and the Ace of Wands, although you have changed a mindset, you're not going to take no, no offer if it doesn't actually fulfill your wants and or needs. With the Queen of Pentacles right here, you are very aware that you have worked very hard to be where you are today and you are not willing to lower that now with the queen of wands right here you're standing strong and you're not actually just lowering to whatever it is that this person could want going back to money real quick you have been waiting for this breakthrough this break this desire like money and like having financial stability which is not a crime and i feel like you have been having some nights that you cry because you're so worried about like how am i gonna pay this how am i gonna do that like oh this is not for me i have never suffered that then high five candy for you halloween chico treat anyways but if you are this kind of person that you feel like this is for you listen uh, i do see that some of you have been like struggling with money and you know like trying to get out there and there's been stressful nights that you cannot even sleep because you're so because you could be so tired or so stressed that it's like you can't rest and this past three weeks to maybe three months has been super uphill into where you don't see the reward. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm working so hard and I don't see this. They want you to know that that is about to change. You could be receiving a lot of synchronicities to confirm this reading. You could have seen this before this reading. You could see them after this reading. You're going to see a lot of numbers, 444, 555s, 33s, and 222s. And some, and some 1111. But the ones you're going to see repeatedly is 444, 333, uh 444 to the three to the two and five 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 okay these are the manifestation of like you're on the right path money is coming abundance you're on the right path and changes in your financial and or career so this is just confirmation that things are going to change if it has been a little bit slow if you have a business or so and you feel like things have been a little bit slow or in general in anything you do in life things are about to change you're about to hit the jackpot now, for the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands, they also want you to know that there's going to be some sort of like um, 
let's say people wanting to associate with you let's say that you have a business let's say that you have a i don't know co-workers and there's going to be some sort of some sort of like associations let's start with the owner business owners uh of like yeah i'm gonna do this for you but they want you to promote them for free or if, if you could be a small uh influencer growing up right like grow up your growing up your your audience your brand they want you to know that whenever there's associations that sounds shady or too good to be true take a look and investigate them because often brands regardless of how legit they could be they tend to reach out to smaller creators because they know smaller creators are looking for that for that moment right into where they're going to offer you something and most likely they're not going to give you a contract they, they know deep down that you don't know how to work so they're going to gaslight you and they're going to rip you off so before you join in into anything take a look and have an investigation now if you're a small business owner do not be giving your products for free without confirmation and insurance that that influencer is going to promote you because again the same way there's brands that do that there's also influencers out there who take advantage of you being a small business owner and you wanting to be having exposure because either way it's a risk right but might as well having an influencer that does it even though if it doesn't pay out at least they did it be careful who you be sending your stuff because not everybody is reaching out or will do what you want or hope a lot of people out there who are lies uh, like to tell tell lies <laughs> now if you work a normal business or a normal job be careful with those co-workers they are snitches they are snakes don't trust them if you don't trust them already you're doing a good job and give yourself a high five and twerk it out because babe they're not to be trusted they're just people out there just trying to get your and your soft side to see you slip to get you out of the way because why there's people who are so unhappy that they feel something whenever they do some harm so to others use your intuition your intuition antlers okay now <clears throat> They want you to stand strong, Libra, because it wasn't all for nothing. All these failures were not failures, they were just setbacks. They're always like this in the way to success. There's always going to be moments that you're going to actually fall and fail. And if you want to know how to manifest, go check my latest uh, episode on podcast and you'll know exactly what, why your manifestation may not be happening so soon and how to do it and how to get it fast enough. Let me have some water. Now, those options that you feel that are not gonna pay off are gonna be the ones that are gonna set you to the higher number one, numero uno. It says right here, that everything has been yes indeed like slow down but things are coming to light this right here that whatever you have prayed in silence is your success is going to be so public even people that you didn't know existed will know your name will know you and this could be because of your business this could be because of your platform this could also be you visiting countries and places you never thought you could that's how financial stable you're gonna be now going back to love it's saying right here that what you thought you missed out you didn't miss out on nothing some people do not change some people are not worthy of your time and sometimes you wouldn't see it otherwise unless time passes by and the universe says you're gonna realize that we didn't remove that person because we weren't punishing you we removed that indeed because they were not worthy of you and you're gonna understand that and the secrets that that pisces energy and cancer energy pisces cancer scorpio those secrets that you know they had that you never that you could never prove they're coming to light is this person a shady person yes is this person a horrible person no because i mean there's people out there who you know commit crime so we're not going to put somebody who lies and somebody who commits crime on the same line now do you want to like you do you have to like them both no but we are not going to be like oh my god they're the worst person ever no baby <laughs> no they're not they're just shady some people just want you to act like that we're not in middle school okay now with the nine of cups in the reverse they do hide a lot in how they really feel this could be a good thing this could also be also a bad thing yes they're not in love with that person they're coming with yeah they do have a lot of feelings for you yet they don't know how to demonstrate them it now how do we get them to demonstrate that we cannot because if you are available and you tell them how you feel and they choose to not open up that's something that they need to work on and that was the first problem in the first place wasn't it 
with Herman right here, Virgo Energy. Let me tell you something. This person has been fi uh, fighting their feelings for so long, and they have been watching your stuff for so long. They will ha they have been spying on you for so long, this water sign. And at the same time, even though they have been spying on you, they haven't done nothing, which spying and having intentions don't get you anywhere when you do not match those actions or you don't or you not you do not put those intentions into actions, right? So at this point, this person has been hiding and feeling a lot of love for you for a long time but they chose not to do anything that's the problem they choose right but with the world right here they find you very attractive they find that you are their dream guy their dream girl yet they just don't move towards you with the tower in the reverse and the two of pentacles they still need to work a lot on their tower moment they have a lot of unfinished things that they need to work on toxicity they need to work on Especially honesty, especially growing some balls to say and to do the right thing. Um, I do see with the two of pentacles, there is definitely a third party, third party interference here again. So I don't see you very invested into like you're heartbroken over that. But you're like, bro, figure it out and then you come find me. And if I'm available, I'll be there. That's the energy I have. I feel like you are just not done, but you're like, mm, I'm not going to get invested like I did in the past. I learned my lesson very loud and clear, figured it out, and then you can call me. I do see you more mature about the situation. Now going back to money. <laughs> yes, I'm going to back and forth. Libra, you are going to be known everywhere. Most of you are going to be known everywhere. Uh, that, that job that is going to take you far, 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 far. Um, you're gonna be an, uh, uh, you're gonna be uh, <clears throat> what is it called? Somebody who somebody that people look up to. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of haters because baby haters are your number one fans. They don't like what you do. They don't like you, but they cannot stop you. And all you care about is people watching, right? So at this point, keep in mind that haters are your number one fans because they literally stalk you to make sure what you're doing so they can point something out because they crave you to know who they are. Because think about it, whenever you become that successful, you don't know everybody, right? So haters need to stand out. So they're going to try everything in their power to get you to know who they are, hoping that they mean something to you. Because again, people who are haters, baby girl, baby boy, is because they're unhappy with their own life. People who are happy do not waste their time doing that because they have a life to, to live, right? people who hate is because whatever you have they don't they will never be able to and they need you to know that pa pass the page now you are getting out of a situation of financial stress and difficulties that you have been since maybe you were very young i get most of us our family our family are working families so most of you guys are too and you guys have not never really had wealth and i'm telling you what you're getting is not just money to go to target all the time but baby we can go to target everywhere in the world you know what i'm saying like you are gonna be wealthy wealthy now this doesn't mean that you're gonna be a billionaire but wealthy is good enough right of course when that money you can make it bigger if you want to now a lot of people say i don't need money then go good for you high five get let's wait for halloween the 31st and we'll give you a cookie for that okay but people who really worked on it who really want it they have the right to be because everybody can be anywhere they want if you feel money is more problems babe then good for you high five if you feel money is the is the way for your happiness in a way shape or form go for it i mean we are all different we are all different and nobody cares what people like and what people don't like if you want money go you're gonna get it if you don't want money give it to a charity how about that and that's how you know that you're such a good soul right but they're telling you right here to manage your money and your schedule they want you to balance your home life and your work life work life because with great money get comes great responsibility you know especially if you have a business if you have a platform it is responsibility especially when you are the one running it and um if you're getting a, an increase when well, let's say at your job normal job if you get an increase a, a promotion and you get a higher paying uh job position the same thing goes for you great power great responsibility manage it wisely they also want you to know to invest properly your energies now if you are an influencer and you become, you know, very big or on all that, invest your your energies wisely, okay? 
it's not worth it to invest your energies on negativity now yes you're you have the right to stand up for yourself but like i said before remember that haters and negativity comes from a place of sadness and unhappiness so at this point no matter what you do and what points you bring people like that that take the time to hate they don't really have a valid point to tell you so they're gonna use everything in their power just to make you feel uh uncomfortable because people with education right they're not going to get out of their way to disrespect somebody else just to create a reaction so at this point babe when somebody does that to you don't waste your time you're not going to get anywhere with them because they have nothing in their head but hatred they come from a sadness for a place from sadness right of sadness so with this said just pass the page and invest your energies wisely learn from my mistakes back in the day when i started my youtube channel i used to waste my time like that and it was funny but it was just draining and now i just report and continue with my life you know, and sometimes I make I, I make a video or so because, you know, pettiness queen never leaves. But I am more wise, maybe because I'm dirty and my back hurts. I'm more wise and I don't waste my time now with pettiness as I used to. I do, but don't, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of change, but we keep it because, we you know, we remember where we come from. But anyways, that's the same energy I they're telling me to give you. Now, going with love, the same energy. Do not waste your time properly. On not waste your time properly okay because people be like you're saying waste your time baby you know that last last night was time wasted because you're not gonna live it you already did it right so if you think about it what you do every single day you waste your time but if you do it if you do it wisely you do it correctly because it's all a perspective but at the end of the day you're wasting because wasting is using wasting is doing something that you cannot do again or we do it the same way again Every day, even though that you work every day, you take different decisions. You, you may even take different routes because things happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. So at this point, um, make it wisely. The same thing in love. Don't, even though somebody from the past is coming, do not repeat the same story. At this point, you learn your lesson. If this person continues with their BS, it's best for you to go elsewhere. But as they come back, it better mean something. And sometimes you need to set the rules. This person has, this person that comes in, they could be either or a thief or a great, great partner. And it's because they have a little bit of both. They have the energy of being a little bit lazy. So if you allow them to be a thief, they're going to do it. Okay. If you say, no, you got to be the king, they'll do it too. So this is what you need to know. You need to set the rules. You need to set the boundaries because if you let them, they're going to run all over you. But if you said, no, if you want to touch this, you got to do this, you got to do that. And if they say no, then you know that's not worthy of you no more. So at this point, they could be either or. And that's why they appear on your readings on multiple readers, interpretations so differently because they are both. You have to choose and you got to tell them with your actions what is the person they need to be to get access to you. Now, going back to money, it says right here that that's how also your money could go. It could be something that you have and then you may not see again. But if you actually invest and do things correctly, it's something that you can actually last all the way to your retirement in your bloodline. Finally, you want to remind you that in the financial sense, you are the empress. Somebody who's independent, somebody who has money, somebody who has properties, somebody who has always oncoming income, somebody who has wealth, and somebody who doesn't need nobody's help when it comes to money because that's how wealthy you're going to be. So create the livelihood you want, and you're going to get there. Now, in love, they're telling you, you are the same thing. You do not chase, you attract. And you are wifey. You are the empress energy, transformation, rebirth, fertility. You are the queen of energy. You are a magnet for manifestation. So at this point, do not lower your expectations and who you are for this person. If they cannot afford to be in your life because they cannot match your energies, let them walk away. No matter how much you love them, no matter how much you wait for them. If they come back wanting to be cheap with their energy, with their time, with how they treat you, then you're never going to be wifey. You're never going to be hubby. You're never going to be that important in their life. And they're telling you, that 
no matter how many times they come back into your life, they're going to treat you the way they want because you don't mean much for them. But if they come back and they try it, because people can try it, but you tell them no and they say, okay, let me rearrange myself. And they show you change. And they show you all this intention. Then you go ahead and do it. Right? If that's what you want. If you don't want it, go ahead and say no. You have the power to say yes or no. Not me, not next to your reader, not your mom, not your dad, yourself. Okay? Take accountability and responsibility for actions and the actions taken against you. Okay? So that's what I tell you guys. My readings are to tell you what's good. You have the power to stop it. At the end of the day, tarot readers are not a fairy into where we do what you want. No, you have the information. Now, what do you want your outcome to look like? Take that in consideration and take their actions into it too. Use your intuition always in love and money and do not let the feeling run the show. Your feelings need to be in control. You need to listen to your intuition and you cannot ignore this. I wish I could tell you I'm not accurate because I know some of you will have a happier perspective of my readings. But if you want humbleness, I can only say nine out of 10, nine of the 10 readings I do, nine of them become true. So we leave one reading out of 10 readings not becoming true. If you want me to be humble, if you want me to give you something, which I will say 10 out of 10, my readings are accurate, but you know, let me be humble and let me give you nine out of 10, I'm accurate. And we give that one percentage of mistakes. And whoever needs to take that, you can go ahead. I'm just humble. But I know my readings are accurate. And I can tell you that everything I say comes true. That's just the reality. <laughs> and the, that one reading, I'm going to give it to be humble. So thank you and you're welcome. <laughs> but either way, 